Problem-solving tip, start at the end. Almost always the actual problem, or the question that you're being asked to answer, in a word problem will come at the very end of the word problem. Not that far at the end. <sighs> Further back, we've got to see the word problem first. Okay, here's an example. Devin and Sarah went out to lunch. Devin's lunch cost five dollars. Sarah's lunch cost seven dollars. What was the total cost of their lunch? Here are Devin and Sarah. The problem you're going to solve is, what was the total cost of their lunch? Word problems usually present the information, then ask a question related to this information. In this case, the information is the cost of Devin's lunch and the cost of Sarah's lunch. The question you are looking to answer, or the problem you need to solve, is what was the total cost of their lunch? We take the information we've been given and use it to solve our problem. In this case, $5 plus $7 equals $12. But let's try it again with a little harder problem. Let's say Devin and Sarah's friend Margo joins them for lunch. Now Devin, Sarah, and Margo are having lunch. Devin's lunch cost $4. Sarah's lunch cost $6. And Margo's lunch cost $8. When the bill came, the three friends decided to split it three ways and each pay the same amount. How much should each person pay? Now, let's go directly to the end. How much should each person pay? That's the question we need to answer. Again, you're presented with the information. The cost of Devin, Sarah, and Margot's lunch, as well as the fact that the three friends want to evenly split the bill three ways. And, as we've already seen, the last part of the problem is the actual question that we're being asked to answer. How much should each person pay? This is a two-step problem. First, add the cost of each person's lunch together. 4 plus 6 plus 8 equals 18. It's important you ultimately make sure that you're answering the question at the very end of your problem. For example, if you weren't paying attention, you might just look at the numbers and think you were supposed to add them up. Or you might be in a hurry and just add the numbers but forget the question asks you to take another step. In either of those cases, you'd add the numbers up and get 18. But does that answer the question you're being asked? No. If you start by going to the end and identifying that question you need to answer, it will help you focus in as you look to find the right answer. As we know, to solve this problem, we're supposed to find out how much each person should pay. To do so, we take the total sum of their meal $18 and divided by 3. 18 divided by 3 is 6. So the answer is $6. Now Devin, Margo, and Sarah can pay their bill and be on their way. However, before you go, there's two more helpful hints you might want to keep in mind. After you've done the problem and come to your final answer, it can also help to go back to the end and make sure you answered the question the problem asks. And, while it might sound obvious, a helpful hint in determining what you need to answer in order to solve a word problem is to look for the sentence that ends with a question mark. And now, we're actually at the end.